very close to this spoke. where it all started back in the day. I don't know how long ago, 1988, around there. I used to be here in the real estate office, which was at the time Century 21. And this is where we would come to ply our trade. Across the street here, there was a, a, a drinking establishment, should we say, called Gray's. And it seemed as though they made their money. It would seem, it was said, it was alleged that if it wasn't for real estate agents, they would go broke. I never believed it for even a second. However, what I do know is that as soon as the office moved to square one from this building, well, I'm not saying they went broke, but there were no more. It did not thrive as a kind of drinking establishment that it used to, especially if you were, you know, if you'd lost a deal and it was 11 o'clock in the morning the guys are saying, Carl, you know, we should go for a drink. Hey, do, do they have milk? Because I don't, you know, it's 11 o'clock, I don't drink. Any case, this was the scene in Port Credit back in 1998, and it is now the scene in Port Credit in the year 2017. Yes, work that out on all the videos. Let's see how long I've been in real estate. But it's still the same kind of vibe. At the time, my broker's name was... Fred Sheringa, we used to call him the Silver Fox. That guy had a clothes for everything. Uh, of Africana descent, uh, Dutch, you know, Reformed Church, etc. But owned the building, and let's take a look at the building because it's, it really has, has a lot to say for itself. And remember that this building is, well, there's a whole plan in place which we'd go over. But one of the things is that they're going to save the tree. Now, which tree is it? Let's take a look at the problem. Isn't this nice? So we used to have a, a reserved place. So when I won the list of the month, well, whenever I did, You'd have a reserved spot so you could just park right here and come up to the uh, to the uh, to the office here. Of course, that's probably taken the bus thing as well. But this tree don't, don't get the cars. One of the things that I understand that the architects have to work with is preserving this tree, which I understand is over a hundred years old. And so I think the plan is to work around the tree. And remember that there's going to be a rapid transit line that's coming, going to come down. We'll probably stop here so that people can then go from this, from this station, probably on the ground, and over to the, the, uh, the line, the train, which is a go train which then takes them into town, or if you want to go back to town. But that is it. These are new buildings. So none of this was here in uh, 1988. These houses were here, that house was here, the garage was there, that's where they used to do the Century 21 signs. Remember those big, cute signs? And this was here. Who knows, who knows what this uh, place is worth now? Let's take a look. Walk with me, because if you need to know about Port Credit, you've come to the right place. Walk with me, if you can. One of the fascinating things about Port Credit 
is that you can have the same view for about a million dollars or not so much. But wait a minute, wait just a minute. What's going on over here? Is that a crane I see in Port Credit? Is that a crane? You mean that the gentrification is actually happening here too as we speak? I left Toronto. Is this what we have to look forward to? More and more cranes as we try and just enjoy the lake? Let's take a look. And trust me, if anybody says that they saw this coming back in 88, they did not. Nobody saw this. Coming. 